All righty. Welcome back. Welcome back to everybody in the room. Welcome to anybody watching on the stream. Broadly, yes, yeah. absolutely. For my favorite part, at least, of JS Nation, the JavaScript Open Source Awards. Okay. Uh, Uh, yeah, Git Nation supports open source awards, uh, open source projects, and celebrates them during these annual awards. Uh, today we'll have five categories with four to five nominees each. So let's look at the categories. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's great to have you here ready to find out that our, our first category is Breakthrough of the Year. Uh, this category includes projects that contribute uh, to the JS ecosystem and add new dimensions and possibilities for further development. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the most exciting ones because, yeah, it's, it's just opening up new possibilities for us as developers. Uh, and so this year, the, the following, um, following projects have been nominated, uh, and they are Skip, Rolldown, Transformers.js, who Joshi was just talking about uh, uh, downstairs a while ago, uh, the Ember Polaris, uh, and OXC. So let's see the uh, short videos submitted by the project teams. With Skip, developers code their backend services declaratively that, once deployed, compute continuously. Skip services are real-time, adaptable, and simple to enhance. The Skip framework is open source and community supported. Get started with Skip today. JavaScript bundling always came with a tough choice. Speed, simple and flexible plugin APIs, advanced optimization features, you had to make some trade-offs. That's where Rolldown comes into play. It combines the best parts of what came before. Compatibility with Rollup's plugin ecosystem, parity with VS Build's impressive speed and advanced optimizations that rival Webpack's features. Rolldown is set to power the next version of Vite, replacing both ES Build and Rollup. One bundler that does it all, in dev and build for your favorite framework. Ready to experience the difference? Try out Rollon V today and see how Rollon transforms your development workflow. And you worked on the original computer in this country, right? I was very fortunate. The Navy owed me to the first big computer in the United States. Hi, I'm Alex and Lichter, DevRel at Void Zero, and I want to introduce OXC to you. OXC, short for the Oxidation Compiler, is a collection of JavaScript tools written in Rust. The goal of OXC is to be the fastest and most correct JavaScript compiler. Reusability is also very important for us, so developers can use parts of the compiler as NPM packages or Rust crates. OXC includes a parser, transformer, resolver, minifier, and mostly user-facing formatter and linter. OXC is the fastest JavaScript compiler at present. Well, the parser is three times faster than SWC, the minifier beats ES build in time, and the linter is 50 to 100 times, not percent, faster than ESLint. It's important for us to hear what's going on as well. Um, cool. So uh, let's see the winner. Uh, of our uh, JSOS Awards 2025 in our Breakthrough of the Year category is, thank you for the drum roll over there, uh, it is Roll Down. Nobody here. 
like to present this the to winner. you on behalf oh, of Roll Oh, Down. I love that. Yeah, yeah I'll okay. accept on behalf Thank of Roll Down for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we if we need speeches from people not from the project. <laughs> you can give a speech if you want to. Uh, I would like to thank uh, my mom and uh, now all good. Like we'll make sure that these prizes go to the people that are. If they're not here in the room with us, then we'll make sure that, they, that it gets sent to them. Uh, I'll take extra special care of this one, Phil. Wonderful. All right. All right. We have another uh, another one of our categories, uh, and it is the most exciting use of technology. Um, so. We're looking for unique and unconventional use of JavaScript, uh, and we found a mix of original software and tech that make the language really shine uh, and or that boost development. Uh, this year, the following projects have been nominated, TS Blank Space, Brisa, Tan Stack Form, Wasp, Fontaine, and H3. So let's roll the video and see what the projects have to say for themselves. <laughs> TS Blank Space is a JavaScript library from Bloomberg that transforms your TypeScript into runnable JavaScript. Using the official TypeScript parser to identify the locations of the type annotations, it then replaces those parts of the input with spaces. Not only is this fast, but it also avoids the need for source maps during development. Brisa is a new full-stack framework that unifies server and client using the web platform. You build apps with web components, server actions, and HTML streaming, all with a modern developer experience and great performance. Everything works out of the box. No config needed. Give it a try at brisa.build. Headless, performant, and type-safe form state management for TS JS, React, View, Angular, Solid, and Lit. Wasp is the full stack React, Node.js, and Prisma framework with batteries included that takes care of the entire stack for you from front end, back end, to database and deployments. Wasp also gives you great features out of the box like full stack authentication or background jobs without relying on third party services. Wasp has over 17,000 GitHub stars and continues to grow every day. Check us out at wasp.sh. Fontaine is a bundler agnostic tool to reduce cumulative layout shift when using custom web fonts. If you're trying to speed up the rendering of your page, you might block the render until the web font is there. It's slow. Uh, you can try swapping out maybe a, a close native font, but this still leads to layout shift. Fontaine uses font metrics to approximate the shape of the custom web font so that before it loads, there is something that is taking up roughly the same amount of space, reducing one of the most frustrating aspects of the web. It's zero runtime and cross framework, cross bundler should work for everyone. Minimal HTTP framework built for high performance and portability. That was a short one, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just the project. Now we know. Uh, so very cool. Let's see who the winner is in the category uh, most exciting use of technology. Can we get a drum roll again? Because you did so well last that's time. Last time, yeah. yeah. The winner is 10 stack form. I have a little note here that the winner is actually here. So if you're here in the room, you can come to the front and you know grab your award. Or if you're shy, you don't have to. But also, you know, we'll, we know that you're at the conference, so we'll find you. We I guess. will find you. Yeah, we yes. will find you. That is a threat <laughs> and a promise. Yeah. Awesome. Tansac form. Fantastic. All right. Uh, what do we got? New category. Uh, let's see what the next category is. Productivity booster. Ugh. Don't we just need productivity boosters the entire time? I know I do, uh, just to get me out of bed. Um, the best projects, uh, in this case, we've got the best projects that are improving the efficiency of development work. And so this year, the following projects are nominated. Uh, firstly, Zod, uh, Happy Dom, uh, Strictly, Crawly, and Farm. Uh, well, there's still a bunch of animal stuff there. Uh, yeah, oh, cool. Let's, uh, let's see the videos submitted by those projects. Thank you. 
Zod is a TypeScript first schema validation library. Define a schema, parse unknown data with it, get back a type safe result. Happy Dom is an open source JavaScript implementation of a web browser. Use Happy Dom for testing with Vitas, Jest, Bun, or Node, server side render your client side app, or scraping websites. Happy Dom is built with the tremendous help of the community. To join us, visit the GitHub repo. Strictly is a new framework for CLI apps from Bloomberg Engineering. It has zero runtime dependencies and supports code splitting for minimum overhead. Strictly apps are built in two halves, command and parsing specification and the implementation function. Changes to the implementation show up as TypeScript errors in the spec. Strictly supports any server-side JS engine, shell autocomplete, and much more. Try it out in your project today. Strictly is a web scraping and browser automation library. It helps developers being more productive by handling complex scraping tasks like blocking, crawling, proxies, and browsers for you. You can quickly start by typing npx crawly create my crawler in your CLI, or you can log in into following links to access our website and GitHub, crawly.dev. Thank you. Extremely fast Vite compatible web build tool written in Rust. Another Swift one at the end there. I like that. Uh, no nonsense. Quite a lot of rust coming up in our JavaScript awards here. But uh, um, let's. Uh, um, we'd like to thank all the teams uh, for their hard work uh, and give them all a round of applause, actually, for that. Yeah, give them a cheer. Everybody so far. And let's have a little applause for our winner of the Productivity Boosted category, which is, after a drum roll, there we go. The winner is Zod. There we go. Fantastic. Um, it seems like I can add something we, we, else we don't to my. We have anybody from Zod here, so Flo, congratulations I, again. I'll add it to my little, you know, collection here, uh, and we'll move on to the next category. Um, so our next category is powered by AI. We're looking for powered by AI projects that can make your life as a developer easier. Uh, this year, the following projects have been nominated. Flowwise, MicroAgent, Browse AI, MRX, and RepoMix. So let's look at the videos that these projects have submitted. drag and drop UI to build your customized LLM flow. Microagent is a CLI-based tool that lets you type any prompt, and it will first generate tests matching what you described. Once they look good, Microagent will begin writing code and iterate and update that code until all the tests pass. We now have seven passing tests and two failed, eight passing tests and one failed, and now all tests pass. You can add your own Claude or OpenAI keys and try it out yourself today. Browser AI brings production-ready LLMs directly to your browser. 100% private, zero server costs, and blazing fast with web GPU acceleration. Integration is as simple as one NPM command, with all AI processing running directly in your user's browsers. From chat interfaces to speech recognition, build powerful AI applications with just a few lines of code. The future of AI is in your browser. We built Amurex. An AI companion that works across your stack without asking you to switch tools. It's an invisible layer that connects everything, stepping in only when you need it. Amurex organizes and prioritizes your emails so the important stuff surfaces first. A meeting invite lands. You jump in. Someone asks, do we have the numbers from quarter four? Instead of digging, you just ask. Amurex finds the document instantly across all your tools. After the call, Amorex delivers key takeaways and action items, all connected to where your work lives. Amorex runs quietly in the background, and you don't even need to install or switch to a new product. This is Amorex, your invisible AI companion. RepoMix packs your entire code base into AI-friendly formats. With just one command, RepoMix transforms your entire repository into a single, structured XML or markdown file. 
so AI tools can instantly read, understand, and interact with your code base, no setup required. RepoMix is open source and ready to use. Try it today at repomix.com. All right, and we didn't even have AI voices for all of them, so that was interesting. <laughs> you know, uh, those days, the AI voices aren't pretty good, so they could have been. <laughs> Okay, they could have passed for you, and I guess. Yeah. Uh, so thanks to all of these projects again, of course, and we love all of them, but there can only be one winner in this category. So who's the winner? <sighs> the winner is... Let's go. The, the winner is MicroAgent. Do we have the person here? We don't have the person okay. here. Oh, well. I'll, I'll take that one Dragging again, Phil. All the trophies yeah. today. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to take all of these home. <laughs> so embarrassing. Yeah. All right, cool. We have right. one more category to one go. One more category, yeah. What is our last one? Our last category is Community of the Year. Less code focused, more people focused, which of course is just as important a part of our job uh, as the code itself. Um, and so in, category, uh, the, in the category Community of the Year, we have a special category to welcome and support JavaScript communities across the globe. And so this year, the following communities have been nominated. Uh, we've got JavaScript London, uh, MeetJS and Roslov, Advanced JS in Amsterdam, a local one, and Copenhagen JS. Uh, so let's see the short presentations about each of the community teams. This is a community of people passionate about JavaScript. We believe that the best way to learn is by doing and it's also the most rewarding. Cyclic meetings of JavaScript and TypeScript programmers in Wroclaw. You can count on lectures on both front-end about Angular, React, Vue, and back-end about Node.js, Dino, etc. Meetups about JavaScript, React, deep dives, and the latest tech updates to learn all tricks of the trade from the experts. Copenhagen JS is a monthly meetup group about JavaScript and all web technologies. It is a group focused on community building and sharing information. Wonderful. We do love meetups. Those are our communities. Fantastic. If you are, uh, before we reveal the winner, like if you're in any of those cities, make sure you get along to them. Uh, like I've lived in Australia for more than seven years, and I used to go to London JS when I lived in London. Uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, group there. Um, so. Uh, let's see who the winner of the OS Awards 2025 Community Year category is after one last drum roll from the audience, please. And the winner is Meet JS Roslov. And they are here. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Come on up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. You've received so many, you should give one over. Like, yeah, what well are guys? Great. Well then, um, Thank you a lot. congratulations. Okay. And Absolutely. Congratulations. I love that we're being live streamed Yay. while they're. <laughs> Oh, okay, hi. Is it too loud? I don't know. Uh, hey, I, I'm from MeetJS. MeetJS started in 2011. It's not just Wrocław, it's the entire Poland. We have 10 cities, uh, and uh, Wrocław people couldn't come, so we're here for them. Uh, but come visit us whenever you're in Poland, in whichever city. We probably have a meetup there. Uh, MeetJS.pl is our website. Let's Thanks. do one more round of applause. <laughs> Congratulations again, meet JS. Get to one of theirs whenever you're in Poland. Just go. Just, just go, that is your advice. Well, maybe this summer, you know, why not? Yeah. All right. Um, well, thank you so much for hosting the awards together with me. It's a been a 